Okay, okay, I'm coming. Um, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, here. Um, this is where I'm meant to stand, I think. Uh, okay, roll call. Um, hello. Attention, everyone. This would have been roll call, except I see that everyone is here. Apart from two guys that were stabbed yesterday. You know, n number nine and eight. Uh, I have my suspects and am here to name them. Okay. I have reason to believe that numbers 20, 19, 10, 6, and 21 all have reasons to have killed 9 and 8. I want to speak to each and every one of you one at a time, or not me personally, but other officers. Behind me, there are three officers. The numbers I said earlier, I want to see after this. 20 yells. There's four rooms, though. Shut up, number 20. There is four rooms, but one is currently occupied by our two undead prisoners. I will see you in my office, number 20. The rest of you will be interviewed in separate offices. Okay. We're going to find out who killed the two prisoners, and when we do, they will receive a punishment worse than death. To whoever killed them, we will find out. You did it if you don't step forward, and we will not stop until we find you. Everyone but numbers 20, 19, 10, 6, and 21 are dismissed. Go. Uh, I think you guys can go. They, uh, uh they, they only want to see us, so you, you might as well, well, just all go. Okay, I gotta go talk to this officer. <sighs> Oh yeah, those are the two inmates and henchmen. They're wearing the clothes that were in my cell. Uh, okay, just pretend I didn't see that. Um, you wanted to speak to me? Alright, number 21. Where were you last night? Uh, I was, uh, I was working out with the boxing bag, you know. Um, in the garden area, back garden thingy. And, uh, then after that I went back to my cell. Did you see anything suspicious? No. Actually, yes. Yes, I did. Would you care to enlighten me on what you saw? I saw a group of prisoners beating number 19. Anyone in particular? Yeah, number 20. He was the main one. Um, he also had a shank that was covered in blood, or a wooden dagger, or whatever you want to call it. A shank? Made of what? Uh, the cafeteria table, I think. I noticed that there was, uh, like, a massive chunk of it gone, so I'd imagine that's what he made it of. Was he the only one with a shank? No, um, a group of them did, but only his was covered in blood. I'll look into it. Thank you for your time. Oh, and in the cell search last night, guess what we found in your cell? Uh, what, what did you find? We didn't find anything, so you're in the clear for this one. Number 20, 10, and 6, however, are not. We found blood-covered daggers, or as they call them, shanks, in their cells under their mattresses. Oh. Just saying, if I were you, I'd get on that. Um, thanks for letting me speak to you, I guess. Um, I'm happy I could help, something like that. <sighs> Okay, I guess I'm in the clear. I'm going back to my cell. Okay. I think I've got a plan of how to get in there. Or, there's there's that room over there that's got, like, the barbed wire there. I think I know how I can get in there. <sighs> it's all a matter of time, though. Wait. Uh. Am I seeing things, or are you really here, Herschel? Hello, Ryan. Um, H Herschel, I, I, I thought you were dead. Shh, I am. But I'm here to give you some advice. What advice? These people are hiding something. I know it, you know it. There's a decision to be made here, and you need to choose what to do. Yeah, I know exactly what to do. I could just dress up as one of them, but it's a big risk for my life if I'm wrong. Listen, you step outside, you risk your life. You take a drink of water, 
you risk your life. And nowadays, and nowadays, you breathe, you risk your life. Every moment now, you don't have a choice. The only thing you can choose is what you're risking it for. And I know what I'll be risking it for. There we go. Any decision you make will be for them, right or wrong. I wish you luck. Thank you, Herschel. Um, I mean, you're a ghost and everything, but I appreciate what you were saying. And um, I'm definitely go gonna go ahead with the <laughs> gonna go ahead with the plan. Um, gonna dress up like the the officers and then take their place. Possibly kill one of them, take the wooden shank, kill one of them, take their gun, act like I'm one of them. <sighs> it's not going to be easy, but if it's going to get me and Emily out of here, then it's worth the risk. Okay, it's definitely time. Everyone is in their cell. The prison officers are gone. Okay, um, yeah, let's start with breaking down the door. Okay, or at least trying to, okay, let's just try and pick the lock best we can. Okay, um, like this. Come on, come on, come on, nearly there. This is actually a lot harder than it looks, especially with n not anything, but still. Okay, nearly there, nearly there. Okay, I think, anyway. Um, okay, come on. Yes! Awesome. Okay, done. Um, now we can grab this. Oh, okay. I manage. I seem to have two. Okay, we can put the extra one in there. We'll take that. And we'll take this just in case. Let's put this stuff on. Okay, there we go. Put that on. Put that on. How how do I look? Do I look like? Yeah, I look like them. Awesome. Okay, let's put this door on there. No, keep it closed. Um, put the shank there. Don't let anyone see it, okay? Just walk and pr just keep quiet. Pretend like you don't see anything. Like you're just going to the... Just going to take over. Okay. It's my shift. Okay. Oh, no. I need to try and get in and close it at the same time. I don't think I can, though. No, you guys can close it for me. Oh. My. God. <clears throat> okay. Um, it's my shift, by the way. Just, just letting you know. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Pick up. I suggest you don't move a muscle. And keep it down. Ah. Uh, okay. I got it. I got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. Okay. Keep it down. Pretend like nothing ever happened. Luckily enough, I. Got, I got, I, I killed them quietly. Okay. What the hell is this? Um. These are, are dead prisoners. Um. That's a woman. This is a man. What's in here? Blood. Uh. Where, where are their body parts? Um. And there's those two survivors that were up at the trade store. And is what is he breathing? I think barely, but yeah, he's breathing. These people are cannibals. Please put me out of my misery. <sighs> if that's what you want. Okay. Oh, these people are cannibals. Oh, that would explain that. Ah. Uh, uh, this is making me feel sick. Um, how could I take those weapons here? Um, okay, we'll take this. We want to take whatever's small enough to not be seen. Um, they'll probably see a meat cleaver. So, if we take this combat knife, I don't know, actually, no, yeah, the combat knife is good. It's, it's small enough to not be seen, so... Okay, just put that there. I need to try and keep it down as well, because uh... Yes, my stuff! Okay. So we've got the M4, we got that. Um, we've got my M9. Um, I know what, I know what I'll do. If these are loaded, 
I'll take the ammo out of those. Granddad's knife, yes, my dad's katana. Oh, food, real food. Okay, take that and that. Um, there, there's Emily's gun. Okay, um, let's take a look. Um, extra ammo for the AKM will be quite good. Oh damn it, the M9's not okay. This M M9 is luckily enough. Okay, put that back. Put that back too. Okay. Um, what 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 else? Um, another melee weapon? Maybe no, we don't need it. Um, what can we take? What what's what ammo? Um, okay, we'll take that. Um, okay, we've got to try and keep it as quiet as possible. But this chest is really, really not quiet at all. Um. I don't think there's anything else other than... Okay, yeah, we'll unload this and put it back. Okay. There we go, there we go, there we go. Pretend like nothing ever happened. Um, we just walk out like this, and they won't presume a single little, little thing. Um, okay. Um, you guys can go take over in there now if you want. Okay. I've got to head out. I've got some jobs to take care of. <sighs> Keep it quiet. Pretend like you're just walking out. Okay. Okay. Now quick, 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 quick. Okay. Back into the cell. Back into the cell. Um. Looks like we're leaving. Um. Wait for them to come in. And then. Okay, just. we got to hide every single thing that we can. Okay. So that include the shanks. All of my stuff. All of this. We need to hide. Um, okay, there we go. And there we go. Oh, damn it, there's not enough for everything. We'll take the bread. Okay, they're not they're not going to search me for bread. Actually, I know what I'll do. Okay, put that in there so when they search there. And then we can we can write in the book. Okay, okay, okay. Um, um, day two, prison. Wait and see if they ask me questions. Just wait. Um, they did. Um... They said I was innocent. Um, the escape plan is a go. Okay, there we go. Now we've got to hide the book so they don't see it. Okay. Oh, it's all a matter of time now. Um. It's a waiting game. We've got to wait for them to wake me up in the morning. I'm thinking night time's the best time to do it since there's less guards around. But now to just play the waiting game.